Hello, dear students. In today's online lecture, work from home, we will first study the remaining bit from the chapter Analyta. So, last bit from this chapter is remain, and it is the role of earthworm in agriculture. So here, agriculture is our basic economy. So in the agriculture, the role of earthworm is, it is just like the um, plug man of the farmer or of the um, just like the farmer working the farmer uh, by plugging so that work is doing by the earthworm so it uh, eats the soil with the compost and mixing the enzyme in that and that is just like the fertilizer so here the role of earthworm in agriculture in our land so earthworms are almost beneficial in agriculture they improve the fertility of soil in different ways so here i will read only the soil feeding and burrowing habits of earthworm make the soil porous our soil which is which becomes the harder during the rainy season during the monsoon season after the rain the earthworm from the deep soil it comes to the surface of the soil and sometimes it, it come out from the soil also and you can see in the water kai veles asa chalta na tumhala earthworm distat pane madhe thoda pani padlela asla tyacha madhe earthworm distat so they are the burrowing animals they burrow in the soil and eating some leaves of the uh, our crop our tree fall leaves so the lower soil it, it becomes the upper with the help of the earthworm so the soil feeding and burrowing habit of earthworm make the soil porous it permit aeration and quick absorption of the soil it increases the fertility of soil in many ways the grinding of soil in gizzard constitute an effective kind of soil cultivation it also permits easy and deep penetration of the plant root due to the porous earth the roots of our crops or plants may go in the deep so by different ways earthworm is very useful in our agriculture in our farms and at last when there is the death of earthworm so it decompose and by decomposition of the dead earthworm uh, body our earth become our soil become the more fertile so by different ways earthworm is very useful very beneficial in our agriculture and at the ending point death of the earthworm then also the earthworm is very useful in our farmhouses in our agriculture so dear students this is the short bit which was remain from the anida phylum here the chapter anida is completed and the last chapter from the unit number 3 is arthropoda so serially from the introduction of non chordates to the earthworms the chapter is the 8 syllabus wise apan jar baghitla ta pratyek unit madhe chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 asa dilela pan sequentially jar apan pahila chapter jar introduction to non chordate ithun jar suru kela tar 8 va chapter arthropoda asel sequence apan saral dilela ithe so here the chapter number 8 
from the unit number 3 it is arthropoda it is very important by different angles here the arthropoda animals or arthropoda phylum are the most successful group remember <coughs> what is arthropoda arthropoda is a phylum of invertebrates we are studying the life and diversity of invertebrates that is non chordates so arthropoda is a phylum of invertebrates or we can say arthropoda is a group of animals belongs to the phylum arthro arthropoda so here the arthropoda animals or phylum arthropoda is most successful group 90% of animals are belongs to the arthropoda phylum remember major group of animals major animals belongs to the arthropoda 90% animals they are belongs to the phylum arthropoda so the arthropoda animals are adapted for aquatic life remember je prani arthropoda phylum che sambandhit ahe arthropoda phylum che ahe they are aquatic pane madhe rahta adapted for aquatic they can live in water then they can live on land terrestrial here aquatic means living in water terrestrial means living on land and parasitic environment some of the arthropod animals they live their life as a parasites so parasitic environments as per the syllabus from the arthropoda phylum we have to study first the general characteristics or general characters of arthropoda phylum then classification of arthropoda phylum so dear students in today's online lecture online period work from home we will study the arthropoda phylum introduction then general characters and then the classification before to start this i would like to say some things प्रिय विद्यार्थी आणि विद्यार्थिनीनो माझा मोबाईल हँडसेट माझ्या हातामधून पडला होता आणि ते रिपेअर करण्यामध्ये सर्व्हिसिंग सेंटरमध्ये माझे दोन चार दिवस गेलेले आहेत आणि मी अत्यंत अडचणीत होतो आय वॉज इन द प्रॉब्लेम माझे विद्यार्थी माझे विद्यार्थी सर्व कन्फ्यूज होत असेल का सर कुठे गायब झाले सरांच्या फोरी लागत नाही आणि सरांचे ऑनलाईन लेक्चर सुद्धा कसं काय बंद झाले तर विद्यार्थी मित्र ही अडचण होती आज मी विनंती करून माझा हँडसेट आणलेला आहे आणि परत आपलं हे सुरू झालेलं आहे वी विल कम्प्लीट आवर सिलेबस विथ इन टाइम आपण वेळेच्या आतमध्ये आपला अभ्यासक्रम पूर्ण करणार आहे आपल्या अभ्यासक्रमाच्या चार युनिटच्या नोट्स संपूर्ण नोट्स पेपरच्या नोट्स आणि एम सी क्यू हे बसस्टँडच्या समोरचे संस्कृती झेरॉक्स आहे तिथे मी ठेवलेला आहे ज्या विद्यार्थ्यांना ज्या विद्यार्थ्यांना त्या पाहिजे आहे ते तिथून घेऊ शकता किंवा मी मोबाईलवरती सुद्धा सेंड करणार आहे तुम्ही मोबाईलवरून सुद्धा लिहून घेऊ शकता सो एक्झामिशन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द एट फेब्रुवारी सो डोंट वेस्ट युअर टाईम टेक द केअर ऑफ कोरोना ऑल्सो परीक्षेच्या कालावधीमध्ये कोणी आजारी पडू नका आणि त्याच्यासाठी कोरोनाची संपूर्ण काळजी घ्यायची आहे थंड आणि आंबट खाणे टाळावे गर्दीमध्ये जाऊ नका घरी अभ्यास करत बसा मास्क लावा सॅनिटायझर वापरा अंतर ठेवा ह्या सर्व काळजी घेऊन परीक्षेच्या कालामध्ये आजारी पाडता कामा नाही सो हिअर द जनरल कॅरेक्टर्स ऑफ द आर्थ्रोपोड ऑफ फायलम सो आर्थ्रोपोड अॅनिमल्स आर बायलॅटरी सिमिट्रिकल इफ यू कट फ्रॉम द सेंटर जर प्राण्याचा आपण असा उभा छेद घेतला तर दोन पार्ट सारखं होत असेल द मिरर इमेज टू पार्ट आर एक्झॅक्टली सिमिलर सो व्हर्टिकल कट ऑफ द अॅनिमल्स मेकिंग द इक्वल हॉल्स इक्वल पार्ट सो दॅट कॉल्ड बायोलेटली सिमेट्रिकल सो अॅनिमल्स बिलॉंग्स टू द आर्थ्रोपोड ऑफ फायलम दे आर शोइंग द बायोलेटली सिमेट्रिकल अँड मेटामेरिकली सेगमेंटेड अॅनिमल्स एक्सटर्नली कवर्ड बाय थिक क्युटिकल सो दॅट इज कॉल्ड एज द एक्झोस्केटन 
Cilia and flagella are completely absent in arthropod animals. Then they are triploblastic animals. The body is made up by the three layers ectoderm, endoderm, and mesoderm. They have the paired jointed appendages. Jointed legs or jointed appendages is a special character of the arthropoda phylum. Arthropedics. Tadni astadvaka. Harachi tadni jasta telapan. Arthropedics. But the joints chitadni. The joints, the leg joints, the hand joints, and all the joints, backbones. So remember here, arthropedics. They are named by the arthropoda, means jointed legs. Remember here, jointed legs and compound eyes is the most important feature of the arthropoda phyla. So they are having the jointed paired appendages which lies to the lateral side, this side. Arthropoda animals, they are having the jointed legs and they are laterally attached. This is the lateral side. Particulture side, that is the dorsal side. Potakarchiji side, that is the ventral side. This side, towards the head, it is the anterior side. And towards the tail or towards the legs, it is the posterior side. So animals are having the different sides. Anterior side, then posterior side, dorsal side, ventral side, and two lateral sides. So jointed paired appendages lies to the lateral sides. Then they are having the compound eyes. And compound eyes make the mosaic vision in the arthropod animals. Respiration by the gills in aquatic animals, for example, in the prawn, for example, in the crabs, the respiratory organ is gills. And trachea, about the terrestrial animals, trachea is the respiratory organ. Book lungs is also the respiratory organ of terrestrial animals. It is found in the scorpion, winchumade. Winchu jai, Winchu madhe buklang sasta, cockroach madhe tricky asta. So, arthropoda animals are having the respiratory organs, gills, maybe trachea, maybe buklangs. Excretion by green glands or malpigian tubules. So, nephridia are absent. Excretory organs in our body is the kidney. So, here animal is invertebrate, so there is the kidney absent. So instead of the kidney, there is the green glands and malpigian tubules. Nephridae are absent. Sexes are separate, male and female. Two animals are separate. Sexual dimorphism present by observing the external characters. We can see, we can identify the male and female. So where we can identify male and female, so we can say the sexual dimorphism is present. And if we cannot identify the male and female on the basis of the external characters, then the sexual dimorphism is absent. So, in arthropoda animals, sexual dimorphism is present, means we can identify male and female, arthropoda animals. Now, general characters, I have selected here 11 characters. Due to the limitation of the boards, work from home, it is just like the adjustment. Dear students, in our notes, there are number of characters you will find. Notes by the Tumala Anik characters Dirayahi. But it's a board's limitation actually it is some selective characters are shown. Now we will study the classification. So arthropoda animals belongs 9 lakh known species. A species means different animals, different variety of the arthropoda phylum. Arthropoda phylum chai vay vay animals. Ase no lak vay vay animals arthropoda phylum chai. Protoz hova chai apan chai bagitle microscopic. Pannas hajjar vay vay protoz hova animals and species. Here 9 lak belongs to the arthropoda phylum. This 9 lak known species of arthropoda animals, they are divided into the 5 classes. On the basis of eating habit, on the basis of the living habit, on the basis of different characters, they are classified into five different classes. We have to study classification up to class level with suitable examples. So here, first class, this is the class. This is the class one. It is the Merostomata. So this Merostomata class are having the 
peculiar characters and all the species of that peculiar characters all that animals are kept in class 1 merostomata the best example of merostomata is the limulus remember this is the example and this is the class so we have to classify arthropoda up to class level with suitable examples now another class this is the another class this class 2 arachnida this arachnida also having the peculiar characters special characters how the basis of that character similar characters it is kept in the class 2 arachnida and the best example is the scorpion there are many many thousands hundreds examples but here for understanding one examples are given another class that is the crustacea remember this is the aquatic animals they live in the water maybe fresh water maybe salty water maybe marine water so crustacea here best example is the crab another example is the prawn number of examples are here so crustacea then miripoda the example is the scolopendra again there are number of examples then this is the insecta class insecta insects jointed legs and a pair of wings for flying wings may be present or may be absent so insecta belongs to all insects the common example is the cockroach another example is the grasshopper Naktura de lapan with the Naktura. Kunachi Nakturi, he appeared a mighty thing. But the lapan of the local language with it, Naktura Asamun. You are grasshopper. So they belong to the class Insecta and Phylum Arthropoda. So, dear friends, remember in today's online lecture, work from home, we have first studied the role of Arthurum in agriculture. The remaining part from the Arida Phylum. Then we have started the Arthropoda, this chapter number 8, from the same unit, unit number 3. In unit number 3, there are two chapters, Arida and Arthropoda. So, then general characters we have studied, then classification we have studied up to the example. So, for today it is sufficient. Dear students, you send your present as early as possible and you can collect, if you want, you can collect the Xerox notes from that Xerox center. I have kept there. Tumchi Archan, who name? Tindu was college of the Somar Mangal or Budwar and Tindu was Amala. College with the Nechi for one day. Tindu was college character was a fifty percent over character and yet Tarki Basunata. Sampun hundred percent college Bunara. When a hundred percent Amchi posted the Ramana. With that, the mother Kaya said, This Susana to our Nechi. So for today it is sufficient. Send your presentee as early as possible. If you are having any problems in this study, you can call me on the mobile. Thank you very much.